Hey everyone, it's Miss Amy, and today I am joined by my good friend Robinson, and she is an incredible artist and author, and has a really special story to share with us today. We are down at Duck Trap uh, in a fog right now, perfect for the Moon Festival, and we're doing it a little early, a Thursday is the Moon Festival. We're going to share this on Thursday, but uh, we are taping it ahead of time. So let's give a warm welcome to Robinson. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Oh, I'm so happy to be on your channel today. Me too. This book is called Chung Er, The Lady of the Moon. This festival, the Autumn Full Moon Festival, is celebrated in China and also in Vietnam and all over the world wherever people have grown up with this festival. For those of us in the United States, the Full Moon Festival is kind of like our Thanksgiving. It's a harvest festival and kids and families all travel back home and they make wonderful, wonderful food to share with each other and everybody eats too much just like we do at Thanksgiving. Um, it's, yeah, it's that kind of a festival. It's a very big deal in China and Vietnam. And my two children, my daughter was born in China and my son was born in Vietnam. So when they were little, I wrote them the story of Chung Er, the moon goddess. Once, can you see this okay? Mm -hmm. Once in the olden times, in the Middle Kingdom, there was a beautiful woman named Chung Er. She was, in legend, a good cook and a wise astrologer. Her husband was Hu Yi. He was, they say, a great archer. One morning, ten suns arched across the sky. All of the rice withered in the fields. The water in the paddy started to boil. The oxen simply refused to come out from underneath the trees. The people were too hot even to talk. Brave Hu Yi drew his bow and shot nine arrows into nine suns. Now, only one sun was left in, to shine in the sky. The earth cooled down. The rice began to grow again. The oxen walked out again. The people cheered. Woo! The queen mother of the West honored Hu Yi by giving him a magic potion. This would make Hu Yi immortal. Hu Yi decided to meditate and pray for one year to prepare himself. He hid the bottle until he was ready to drink the potion. The magic potion in the bottle glowed from its secret hiding place. One day, Chung Er found it and she drank it. Suddenly, she found herself flying up into the sky. She looked down and she saw her husband, Ho Yi. He understood what she had done and he was angry, but still he did not want to see her fly away. He called to her, come back, come back. Chung Er reached towards Ho Yi and yet she continued to be drawn up towards the moon. This was her penalty for drinking the potion of immortality. On the moon, Chung Er found a forest of cinnamon trees and a white rabbit. The rabbit was mixing the magic potion of immortality with the bark of cinnamon trees. Chung Er became resigned to living on the moon and spent her days learning how to make the potion for the gods and goddesses. She worked hard and became very skilled, though she missed her husband very much. 
Chang Er lived in the palace of great cold and became the ruler of the lunar realm. The queen mother of the west sent Hu Yi to live in the palace of the sun and become the ruler of the solar realm. They continued to love each other always and the queen mother relented and allowed them to meet once each month at the full moon. When we go outside on this night, we can see how brightly the moon shines with their happiness and love. And our full moon again is, um, well, when this shows, it'll be tonight, the 1st mm -hmm. of October. The Autumn Full Moon Festival is celebrated in China, Vietnam, and around the world on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month. This is one of the favorite annual gatherings for our local adoption group here in Maine. Families and friends gather together just as Chung Er and Ho Yi do. We eat foods as round as the moon, traditional moon cakes and oranges, and not so traditional pepperoni pizza and cucumber circles with hummus. We are happy to be together. When I drew this picture of our group, these are actually all of our friends from way back when the kids were little. And there's a picture of me and my son and my daughter. Actually, I think that's reverse. That's my son and that's my daughter. Lovely. Okay, Love that's it. a long time ago. Yeah. On this night, we imagine that the birth families of our children are also looking up at the moon and we send them our love. Whisper your greetings to Chung Er so that she might bring your message to your dear ones and family who are far away. This is a picture my daughter drew of me and the Lady of the Moon. I first draw this first edition of this book at the turn of the century when my children were very young. Each September since then, I've read this story at the end of our festivities as the children wound down from an evening of happy play with each other. Over the years, as the children have grown, the older children had begun taking turns reading to the story to the younger children. Mm. And so Love our tradition that. continues. Mm. Special. I'm so pleased to share our story with you. May you prosper in health and peace always. Nice. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you for inviting me to read yeah. your channel today. And thank you. Thank you so much to Robinson. And here we are in this beautiful, beautiful space. Thanks, everyone. Hugs to you all. And thanks again, Robinson. Miss Amy.